Hi everyone. Can I ask you please to stand up and take a seat uh, making a circle around me? It's important. Uh, take uh, your uh, laptop out and your mobile phone out for five minutes. No mobile phones, no laptop, no electric device, nothing. Just sit down with your seat around me and then we start. It's very important that we, uh, you have a, a proposition to make a circle around me, not in front of me. I am part of the circle and you are the circle with me. Thank you. Can you sit down near me, <laughs> so close to me, please? <laughs> Thanks. No, you can sit down with the seat, with the seat. See, you live? Oh, okay, because we need to talk also with people uh, close to me. Yeah, we can open up a bit and we can uh, create that everyone can stay in order that we can see each other. Yes, because we need to make a little performance now. We are so, so tired that we need to touch each other. Can you move down? Not, uh, don't be afraid. Okay, here there are empty spaces. Uh, there is someone who went for a signal that is not going out. Uh, Okay. Sorry for the people uh, in the other side of the world, <laughs> again, uh, my name is Ariana, I'm an action researcher, I'm leading the This is Lab, that is a, a design for social innovation and sustainability network. We are based in Barcelona, uh, in the design school Elisava. Uh, I would like to say to the people that are seeing us in streaming that we have uh, one experiment, uh, and uh, so don't, no problem if you don't listen to anything. Thanks.
become Miss Decentralized. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't believe uh, in uh, the normal educational standard. <laughs> Thanks, it's open. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a, a very important practice that shared to us uh, the importance to see people in the eyes and uh, put uh, ourselves also in the other shoes. Uh, I don't believe in a traditional educational system. Uh, to me, education is broken and university methods are obsolete. So uh, we need to find also this in-between space in which we can start considering school exchange agents, but connecting them in real set scenario. So what does it mean in real set scenario? In project, there are basically the everyday of the people that are involved in that. Uh, I'm uh, based uh, in a, a design school and um, the main activities with, with the students is basically create uh, through the lab mood uh, activities in the, in the neighborhoods. So we go around them and uh, we uh, observe, we make lots of interviews and uh, I give you an example. Do you want to sit down or you want to stay stand? Stand, perfect. Okay, I go to make an example. That is nice because it's very short. I'm not sure if the video goes, but I try. Open Design School is the first European education set up based on oh, open culture. Peer-peer technology. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. So now? You can learn how to innovate and thereby improve the living standards in your city through collaboration and co-creation with the local community. Let's give an example. Imagine the city as the open lab. This is Sitges, a modernist city, lab of Gaudi, close to Barcelona. During the summer, the city attracts a lot of tourists, which is great, but the amount of tourists also means a great amount of consumed coffee, which means a lot of waste. We've decided to create an open design workshop with the local citizens of Sitges and Barcelona, plus a multidisciplinary team of practitioners. Through learning by doing and creative processes, we'll explore how technologies like 3D printing can be used to recycle the coffee and turn it into objects that improve the green environment of public spaces. How do the designers and practitioners learn how to innovate the public space with the community? 
Follow the journey on www.opendesignworkshop.eu and join the workshop. Open culture belongs to everyone. True. <laughs> okay. So what's happened? That this is, for example, uh, a very uh, classical example of what I call open class. That means I'm not uh, uh, into the environment of the school. I'm always working in the public space of the city. And uh, the difference uh, with uh, the normal uh, standard of educational uh, instruction is that we, we create together the, pro the project and the, the, the terminology is very important because I heard a lot during the day of today what's about politics, no? what's about uh, our experience and uh, lots of, uh, of people uh, in this complex time are all designers so this is very uh, dangerous in a moment in which we don't understand the, the, the meaning of the words. For example, everybody co-create, everybody co-design, everybody participate. But what's the meaning of this kind of uh, vocabulary? What's the real intention that we create uh, when we want to stay in our real set scenario and make a decision? So there is a shift of paradigm. We stay, uh, we don't teach uh, in particular ways but we enable people learning. That is, there is a difference in here, because I don't have one method. I'm a design thinker, I'm a na-na-na. I don't believe uh, effectively in design thinking because it's a consultancy product of a network uh, of uh, basically marketing. And, uh, but everyone is now post-it, and so everyone is designer. So watch out, because the, the attitude to be designer means this capability to bring the materiality of the process to the materiality of the real set scenario of the life that we are living. And the second thing is that the urban space can be the only one. We can make open classes in terms that we can operate in between uh, different kinds of, uh, of space. That can be also towns. And this is also my main interest, because the Desis Lab, for example, operates at regional level in Catalonia, in the little towns of Catalonia, in which students can uh, contribute uh, with their own uh, expertise through creative processes based, on, for example, in a uh, um, uh, civic center. Uh, but it's not exactly the, the right definition, but okay. We have uh, in every single town in Catalonia other networks of civic uh, um, community-based learning. So they can go there and they can operate. So the very important thing is that they just don't uh, follow instruction. They decide what they want to do. They decide which, who want to work. And uh, this co-production implies also the participation of policymakers. That is very difficult. So I, I, we don't oblige policymakers to stay with us, but mm, we bring them in the street. That means they stay with us and they create uh, a sort of a different understanding of the political agenda that is based on needs of people. So they introduce this or that project because they live with us in the experience through the project. Uh, this is very unusual uh, because uh, in, uh, the co-design means uh, design because you are part of the design, uh, but uh, not, uh, you are not just part of the solution. You need to decide. So I'm happy to... I'll stay with you because uh, the things to me uh, it's that we need more of these events. We need to spread more the not just the idea but the action to the different form of aching base, uh, particular uh, software uh, uh, open access, uh, in which decision making is not just a buzzword because everyone now are really proud of this. Um, but mostly um, a, a systemic distributed system in which these commonalities is a value because we lost the message, basically. The very important things that we have to learn, it's our value where we create this kind of, a, of, a, of a collaboration. And for me, that I have an educational purpose, and so there is a certain responsibility from my point of view also because we are dealing with the people that decide their future, but uh, also we are into this mess to stay with them, to co-produce it. Uh, I would you like to uh, ask you uh, to take part uh, of, of this kind of initiative, so don't uh, go away, stay in touch. We need that everyone collaborate for real. Thank you.